It's SEC Baseball from Bomb Stadium in Fayetteville. After a wild game one of the midweek set, the Arkansas Razorbacks host the Warhawks from ULM in the series finale. You're going to see him be anywhere from 88 to 92 with that fastball. And he's really working on that slider. That was a pitch he was really successful with during the fall, and he's been struggling Friday, to look. Saturday and Sunday, weather permitting. And a rip and a miss. And there's the breaking ball for a strike over the inside corner, a generous zone early. So they, the big league guys can see that potential. Biggers gets the nice high hop. And his throw is true, and Francis retired. That's a great beginning for Caleb Bolden. One, two, three, and done. Riding a 13-game hitting streak, and that is what he has done on the hitting streak. 23 base hits. So he's 0 for 3. He finishes the game 3 for 6. High drive, deep right field. Woo, Pig Suey. It's cursed at again. Another bomb. Where would, did that one land? I think that's over the scoreboard. Literally hit that one out of sight. You talk about just disappearing beyond the scoreboard in right center, and no doubter, what a way to extend a hitting streak. We gotta start warning ducks and animals down there in the pond behind that right field fence. That deserves a, the hog hat right there My by Heston Kerstad. Goodness. We need the track man on that one. That thing just is launched. Watch De La Cruz give chase. I never saw this ball come down. No, it was definitely over the <laughs> scoreboard. The season. I didn't miss by much. That was a pretty good take. Let's see if Fletcher might be off and running. He's not. Ground ball up the middle. It'll roll away from Khan, and everybody's safe. Had Fletcher been going, one of those guys would have been over there to cover, and maybe it would have been a double play. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. That one over the head of Cook, off the glove of Sharon and back to the screen. Here's a payoff. Cook, it's a little soft one hopper to Khan. He will take the out at first base and Fletcher will score and it's a two nothing Arkansas lead. That ball rocketed towards the gap. Cole will chase. We'll see the speed of Barrett. He's going to be waved. He stopped at second base, even though he was being called to third. He had that play in front of him. He was content with the double attempt. He'll get it down towards third. Martin bobbled one of those yesterday. Took his time here with Wilson covering to make sure that he got a true throw and the sacrifice. That one goes to the backstop. Cook will play the carom. He's just going to run up and make the tag himself. And Barrett says, you've got to be kidding me. Ball goes to the backstop, and he's out, and Cook didn't even have to flip the ball. Up. The ball just disappeared, and he rockets one into center. He's had hits in his last five at-bats, as Martin never stops at second and sprints to third. So he started the series 0 for 3, and he's 5 for 8, as Heston Kerstad. When you visualize it, you win every time. And he said yes, but <laughs> by that he was thinking, you know, ideally I'd like to have this pitcher in the seventh inning. Slider, so we're gonna miss. Strikeout, inning over. Hard every swing early on this season. He did hit it hard, but he'll settle for a base hit here. That's a good job to stay right, right down through that pitch. Full pin. Pretty much everybody's got a jacket on. Kerstad retreating. Reached up and made the catch to retire Jordan for the third time. Breaks late and only breaks about 12 inches. That seems to be the most effective. That one, though, rolled into the hole. Biggers with a dive, but that'll be an infield base hit for De La Cruz. A two-strike pitch that Bolden left over the plate. He's had five strikeouts so far, although that's a base hit in front of Cole in right field. So De La Cruz will go to third, and now the Warhawks have the tying runs on base. See if the Hogs can get two. Wilson to Biggers. Has to be quick. There's the throw. There's the double play. It started with a great feed by Hunter Wilson. He got to the baseball in a hurry. Fletcher rolls one in the right for a base hit. That is just the fourth for Arkansas in the game. 
And again with Fletcher running, he had to take a little sideways detour as that line drive chased him, and now Fletcher will go to third. Back-to-back -back singles. First from Fletcher. And that one gets away from Sharon. Here comes Fletcher. He got a late break and just did score. Lee will chop one into right for a base hit. McFarland around third. He's going to be waved in. De La Cruz's throw is late. And Lee will go to second. Evan Lee's had a big couple of days. Yeah, just seeing eye. Matt will find some green grass in center for a base hit to start the seventh inning. Ground ball to first. Can the Hawks get another double play? McFarland the throwing lane. Biggers back to first. Double play again. Bonin had to find the, or Bolden, I should say, had to find the bag. He was reaching for it. Drives one on the gap to left center field, and it's going to take a bounce and kick up off the fence. Francis couldn't track it down. And Cole with the one-out double. Scroggins coming on. Scroggins is coming off of Tommy John surgery a season ago, and a guy that Wes Johnson and Dave Van Horn like to bring out of the pin. He's kind of that three-quarters arm slide type of guy. And Payoff is over the inside corner. That was the pitch that Martin got rung up on. Ground ball to Kenley. Came on for defensive purposes, and McFarland scoops it on the other end. A couple great plays. Kenley started with a diving stop. Totally different. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to stay focused on the road. Great backdoor curve right there by Cody Scroggins. Caught Bell looking. Out towards left, Kerstad pursuing, game over. And the Hogs win it four to nothing. Well, the bats really didn't break out for Arkansas, but a much cleaner defensive game for the Hogs. And Caleb Bolden, seven scoreless innings, gets the win, and he really stole the show today, Troy. Yeah, he really did. He was able to fill up that strike zone.